Jill from GoEnglishCoach.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, an important word, uh, an important verb in English. Probably one of the most important verbs that we have, and it is the verb to be. Now behind me you will see I have um, the present, simple present tense use of the word to be. So we have I am, you are, he, she, or it, we can use there too. It is, we are, and they are. So in this video, we're going to learn about how to use this in the present tense, in a question form, and in a negative form, and, and then we'll move on to learning some of the past tense uses of this. So we would say, I was, you were, okay? Those are the past tense. All right, let's get started. So behind me, I have the affirmative um, sentences. So affirmative means positive, right? Or the opposite of negative. So I am, and I left this blank so we can create our own sentences. I am a teacher. So I can put a noun there with an article. I am a teacher. Or I am, so this is noun, and this is an article. Okay, I am a teacher. I am short, short, right? So this is an adjective. So this word describes me, okay? I am short. You are, let's say, a student. Okay, so then again, we have an article and the noun. She is happy. So notice here, we do not have an article. So this is an article, we do not have an article here. We are friendly. How about that? We are friendly. Again, this is a word that describes this pronoun, okay? We are friendly. They are funny. They are funny, okay? Now, affirmative statements. Now the opposite is negative here. We have some sentences here that have, um, they are negative of these. So I am not, I am not tall, right? I told you, I'm short. <laughs> I am not tall. So what we're doing here is we're adding this in. So we're gonna use not, in all of these sentences, okay? You are not, you are not a teacher. I don't know if that's true, maybe you are a teacher. <laughs> she is not a student, okay? And we are not friendly. And they, what did we use here? They are not funny. Okay, easy, right? This is super easy. What gets kind of confusing for some people is when we begin to use contractions, okay? So the contractions we could use here. So we can combine these two words, are and not together, and we can say you aren't, you aren't a teacher. You aren't. So practice that pronunciation, aren't, aren't. Okay, here's a contraction here, we can use this. So we're gonna say isn't. So we can make this isn't. So this one is the same. We aren't friendly. The same words and the same pronunciation. So aren't. We put the apostrophe, that's called an apostrophe. We put that in the, in the place of the O. So we're taking out the O and we're using an apostrophe, okay? And they aren't funny. Aren't, okay? So both of these ways are fine. This is okay and this is okay. I think most people say this, they aren't funny. Um, if you're trying to really emphasize something, you can say they are not funny, okay? But most people spoken, 
and mostly written um, English will use contractions. So it's really important for you guys to practice those. And we have a lot of those in English, especially in our spoken English. Okay, let's keep going. We'll look at some question formation of using this, this verb to be. So now we are looking at, so we're still working in the present tense here. We're looking at the verb to be, and we're gonna make some questions. So using some of the same sentences that we had. So I am happy. Let's make that into a question. Really easy. You ready? Am I happy? So two things happened. We changed the order of the verb and the pronoun. Pronoun, verb, okay? We changed the order, so we switched them to make am I, okay? And then we add a question mark. All right, let's do one more together and then I want you guys to do them. Okay, you are, oops, I forgot a letter here. You are friendly. All right, let's make that into a question. So we're gonna take, we're gonna, first we're gonna change the order. Now we've got the verb and the pronoun and friendly and a question mark at the end, all right? Okay, take these next two and I want you guys to make some questions. So take a little break right now. Let's work these out and I'll come back and sh share my answers with you, okay? Let's turn these. She is tall and they are at home. We're gonna change those into some questions. All right, good luck. All right, we're back. Let's see how you guys did. So we have two steps, right? We're gonna take this first. Uh, the first step is to change the order. So she is tall changes to is she tall. The next one we have is they are at home. So we're talking about a location here, okay? So these are kind of more describing because they're adjectives. These are adjective, 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 okay? And if you remember, an adjective is a word that describes um, a noun, okay? Happy, friendly, tall. This is telling you where somebody is, okay? So let's make this into a question. Um, first, we're gonna change the order. So we're gonna say, are they, and then at home, question mark. Change the order and use the question mark. Um, sometimes people want to just um, say she is tall and that's not, it's not bad English. It's not really the correct way that we form um, sentences in English, but it can work. But the most important part about that example, she is tall, is how my voice goes up at the end, okay? She is tall, it's okay, and people use it in casual English. Um, but I would prefer that you guys use, um, is she tall, okay? Is she tall? Again, my voice goes up at the end, and that's an important piece for asking questions. Is she tall? All right, you guys, let's keep going. So now that we have our questions, you guys, let's make some answers, okay? So am I happy? This, the answer to this question, these are called yes, no questions. So where the answer is either yes or no. And in many cases, you can just answer yes or no, and that's fine. Am I happy? Yes. Am I happy? No. If you want a more complete answer, you could say, yes, I am, okay? So yes, I am. Or if the answer is no, you can say, no, I am not. Okay, are you friendly? So this answer for yes will be the same, right? Yes, I am. In the positive answer, we don't use a contraction. So um, unless you have something after this, so we don't say yes, I'm, okay? Well, we would just say yes, I am, or just yes. With the no answer, the negative of this, 
we can say the same here because both of these have the same pronoun in the answer. Okay, so no, I'm not. I'm not friendly, okay? Are you friendly? No, I'm not. Kind of a silly question. <laughs> okay, is she tall? Um, so now we're gonna change the pro, pro uh, excuse me, the pronoun. Um, so is she tall? You and I are talking about another person. So that's why we say it's the third person. Is she tall? Okay, we're gonna say yes, she is, not she's, okay? And no, she's not. So here we can use the contraction, not in the positive, not in the affirmative one, okay? No, she's not, or no, she is not. Both are okay. Also, you could say, no, she, isn't. And that's completely the same meaning, completely the same, 100% the same. So no, she's not, or no, she isn't. You're just taking the two words and kind of contracting them differently. So no, she is not. You can either contract these two words to put those together, or you can contract here, okay? Not both, this or this, okay? That's why the contractions can be really important for your English. All right, we're running out of room over here, so I'm gonna put this down here. So are they at home? So we're gonna say, what do you think? Are they at home? Yes, they are. <clears throat> or no, they aren't. Or, there's another one, you can say they're not. So the same like this, you can contract um, these two words or those two words. So the same here. Um, you can contract they and aren't for there, or you can contract are and not and for aren't. So um, the last part of this um, class is about creating questions. So we call this kind of a question a WH question because we use these words. What, who, why, how, where, and when. Now these kinds of questions we use to get more information, right? And it's different from the yes, no questions because to answer this question, you need more information. So, notice how we formed the question. The question word is in the beginning, and then you have the verb. So, this is your formula. WH plus verb plus pronoun. Okay? And then, in this case, we have extra information. Okay. So, what is your name? What is your name? The answer to this is, my name is Jill. Sometimes you can say, just Jill, okay? What is your name? Jill. That's fine too. For a complete sentence, you would wanna say, my name is Jill, okay? Now, the next one is who. Who are you? Again, my voice goes up at the end. Who are you? This is going to be a person, right? So you can say, I am Jill, or I am the teacher. Okay? Good. Okay, why? Why is she sad? So you're looking for more information here. Why is she sad? So when we say why, the answer usually starts with the word because. Because her mom left. Okay? Why is she sad? Because her mom left. 
Okay, so why and because go together a lot. Um, okay, so how? How are we today? How are we today? Okay, my voice is going up. How? How are we today? My voice goes up at the end. Okay, our answer, we, pronoun first, verb, we are great. Okay, so this is the same as this here. I, that's the pronoun, am, the verb, and then the answer, really. Okay, this is great, that's my name. So you're giving a full, complete sentence for these questions. Okay, two more. Where are they now? Where are they now? So we need a location or a place. That's what the answer to this question is. So we're going to say they are on vacation. Okay, they are on vacation. And the last one here is when. When is the concert? When? So the answer for this question is um, a time or a day or a date, okay? The concert is, you can say, the concert is tomorrow, okay? The concert is tomorrow. So you've got the answer, which is the concert, right? Well, excuse me, no, tomorrow is the answer because the question is when. So this is the the piece of information that you really want, right? The concert is tomorrow. So you've got the subject here in the beginning. The concert is the subject, verb, tomorrow, okay? All right, you guys, good work. Let's go through this one more time um, and do some practice to see if you guys really have it. All right, good job today, you guys. See you soon.